Thank you, everyone, uh, to, who made it out today. This is one of my uh, favorite celebrations of the year. And let, let you fill in that back area there so you get in the shot here. Come on over, search, folks. Um, and Autism Acceptance Month is this month. And the theme this year is celebrating differences. Uh, I have to applaud all the many organizations who are here, uh, as well as my colleagues in the county government and the county executive, for taking actionable steps. Hi, Dad for taking actionable steps to celebrate the differences in Montgomery County. Um, I am a proud parent of a, a sixth grader who's uh, autistic and is receiving services within Montgomery County Public Schools. Um, and as we know, there has been a increase over the last several years, which is a positive thing because a lot of times we had under identification in groups that weren't getting identified. Um, but we have to make sure we have the services. Um, ASD is prevalent in the United States. We're getting better at recognizing it earlier in life. And the more you know and the earlier you know, the better we can diagnose and restructure our systems and practices to make sure that folks receive service. We know and that we have our Project Search intern just started today uh, that folks with ASD ca can and are meaningfully contributing to the lives, the economy, the workplace, our communities at large. And the organizations behind me uh, represent that. Uh, one example, as I think uh, we have this year, uh, there are green sensory bags that, do we have one down here? There, I, I told you to leg it upstairs. Okay. Um, but that this pin here that I have is the Autism Society of Maryland. And that one of the things they're doing these years, this year and all the time, are these sensory bags, these kits that are provided at no cost uh, around vaccine education initiatives. They include fidget spinners, which are key items uh, shot blockers, sunglasses, noise canceling headphones, and other items that can help make a vaccination a smoother experience and thereby more likely to happen for this population. I'm joined here today by many folks. I'm just going to mention a few. The autism, you can wave behind me here, the Autism Society of Maryland. Seek and Project Search interns. My intern Zach is here. Zach, there you go in the back. The Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities Commission. You're right next to me, thank you. The Up County Community Resources. You're in the back, you're, you're Up County there, Jen. Community Support Services over there. Madison House Autism Foundation, all right. The Ivy Mount School, we love Ivy Mount. MCPS and DHHS Autism Waiver Teams. Wonderful, okay. Uh, and there's others that aren't here, the ARC, Montgomery, Potomac Community Resources and more who are do doing the daily work to make sure that we're meeting the needs of everyone. Um, first, we have a couple of speakers. I'm gonna turn it over to County Executive Elrich, who's been a, a leader on this along with his department. Then we will hear uh, from the Chief of the Department of Health and Human Services Office of Aging and Dis Disability, Dr. Patrice McGee. And then finally, we'll hear from Scott Asgrove, Astro, excuse me, an individual who's receiving serv services from CSS, and then we'll read the proclamation. So first turn to the County Executive. So thank you. This is it's really an auspicious occasion. Um, autism awareness has come a long way. And you now they've changed the name from autistic aware, autism awareness to autism acceptance. And that's a significant change because it's one thing to be aware. It's another thing to accept and then to work with what you accept. And I know that my office has benefited um, from Project Search. We have really had some amazing people come in and do great stuff for us. And it's really great. I'm really grateful for the support. I had a hard time letting go of the last person I had working up there um, because he was going through documents that I desperately needed to get sorted out. And he did an amazing job doing that for me. Um, it's important in this community that folks have the opportunities to work. I mean, we have our own experiences here in the county that people can come and work with autism and do the same job that anybody else can do and that they've been successful at it. And that's the kind of proof that you need and we're hoping that more and more businesses look for opportunities to employ people. I know we had a discussion about the challenges of post-COVID world but a lot of people still aren't coming into work. So we actually have fewer people to partner with than we had in the pre-COVID world. So that's a challenge and we're trying to think about what more we can do to encourage more of those who are in the offices to actually take advantage of this and bring people um, together. This is um, there's one in 35 children 
in Maryland identified with autism, which is the same number as the country. And the, based on the Commission on People with Disabilities 23 annual report, the number of students aged 3 to 21 enrolled in Montgomery County Public Schools diagnosed with autism increased by 13.5% between 21 and 22. So this is not insignificant. I remember when I grew up in the county and went to schools here, um, those children weren't in schools. And you didn't, you didn't see the kind of you know, behaviors and the, the issues that people presented because society had a way of pushing that stuff just kind of under the rug. But now as people are now emerging and allowed to participate more fully, it's good to see that we're morphing our own institutions to be more effective at what we do to make sure that these, these children will grow into adults and that they can be successful. Um, I have my own disabled child. He's not autistic. He's Down syndrome. But I can tell you that work for anybody is important. He doesn't care what he gets paid. All he cares is that he's working. He knows that's something he's supposed to do. And that's something about being able to fulfill somebody's sense of what you're supposed to do that makes their lives a lot more, I think, meaningful and it makes it easier for them to find their place in the world. So I'm excited about this. And I just want you to know that we're going to continue to work with our service providers, um, keep these programs funded. We'll continue to, in, in the county government, find places for people with autism to come and work with us. And uh, I'm always happy to you know, go, to the, go to the events that are around this. So thank you all. Every, all of you do this work. You know, this will get county funding. And people will say the county funds great things. We fund great work, right? because none of this happens with us. I know who does the work. And you're the ones that do the work and all the staff you have in your organizations. So I want to thank you and make sure they know how much I appreciate the work they do. And I know all of us appreciate the work you do. So thank you very much. Thank you, County Executive. Uh, amen to that. Uh, Dr. McGee. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is truly a day of celebration as we commemorate the acceptance of neurodiverse individuals with on the autism spectrum. So today, we, it, it, the county executive mentioned that one in 35 students uh, are diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. It's also important to note that boys are four times more likely than girls to be diagnosed with ASD. During my career, I've had an opportunity to work with families and children during the early intervention diagnoses phase. Now as the Chief of Aging and Disability Services within the Department of Health and Human Services, we ensure that families get connected. Uh, children and adolescents are getting connected through the Autism Waiver Program. As the county executive mentioned, this affords children the opportunity to be in the schools. In addition, we also provide some needed services for adults that are on the autism spectrum uh, through our co coordination of community supports. Also, the county executive mentioned that we could not do this work if it was not for our community providers, many of which are here with us today. Aging and Disability Services is working with our partners, partnering with our partner providers to develop creative solutions to ensure inclusivity, sensitivity, and acceptance. In addition, we're working alongside our newly formed Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities Commission, as well as Councilmember Albernos, to align with sensory-friendly organizations. We want to learn from these sensory-friendly organizations what that really means. We want to be able to scale that and bring those efforts to Montgomery County. So, Aging and Disability Services is truly committed to acceptance. We want to celebrate the beautiful minds of people with autism. I am happy to be here with you today to observe Autism Acceptance Awareness Month and to shine a light on autism. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. McGee. And I'm so glad you mentioned the point about uh, a part of shining the light is shining the light on that there are so many others that need to be identified. You know, my daughter, African American girl, is has been the only girl in her class since second grade, uh, and she and that doesn't mean there are other girls out there. It's just they present different. 
they're identified different. There's they, some of their traits are not connected to autism, and there's still work to do in that area. Um, would love to bring up now, finally, before we read the proclamation, uh, Scott, I think you're here. I know Dad's here too. My name is Scott Astrove. I live in my sent away house with my friend Michael. CSS helps me live there and go places I want to. My support staff are with me always and they help with cooking, shopping, driving, and giving me medications. I see my parents and spend time with mom, dad, and Billy. I volunteer at Living Faith Lutheran Church and that's where I'm doing cleaning job. And I like working. Support services are important to me and I am happy living and working in Montgomery County. Thank you. Great job, Scott, thank you. All right, um, I have a piece of paper here, I think, with the proclamation on, where's the actual proclamation? There we go, oh, here it is. All right, we'll trade here. Whereas uh, autism spectrum disorder, ASD, is a complex lifelong developmental condition that typically appears during early childhood and can impact a person's social skills, communication, relationships, and self-regulation, and Whereas ASD varies greatly from person to person, with no two people being exactly alike, we must work as a society to promote greater understanding of the issues affecting people with autism and incorporate inclusive practices in education, the workplace, in medical services and beyond, and... Whereas Montgomery County has a strong history of investing and partnering with provider agencies that provide high quality, direct support and services to autistic individuals and their families, and... Whereas Montgomery County recently created the Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities Commission to identify gaps in services and make recommendations to the county executive and county council on matters involving the needs of individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities, including individuals with autism, and... Whereas Autism Acceptance Month emphasizes the need for public awareness to promote acceptance and prioritize the full inclusion of autistic individuals and their families. This month and every month, we celebrate the numerous ways individuals with autism enrich our world. Now, therefore, be it resolved that Mark El Elrich is County Executive, Will Jawando is Council Member, and the entire County Council of Montgomery County, Maryland do hereby proclaim the month of April 2024 as Autism Acceptance Month, and be it further resolved that we encourage all county residents to do the same. Presented on this day, the 9th of April, the year 2024, signed by myself, the county executive, and the council president on behalf of all council members. Congratulations, and let's take a picture.